Hello, YouTube. This is Bowtie Media, and we've got technically what is, I believe, episode three of the NCS Guessing Game, but this one is a little different uh, because we're actually going to be looking at both NCS and Monster Cat here because, uh, as you may know, artists often go on a bunch of different labels. They don't stay on one for their entire career or the entire discography. They're back and forth on NCS, maybe Disciple, Monster Cat, Spinning, all over the place um, in terms of specifically EDM. But uh, we're going to look at artists that have released both on on NCS and Monster Cat. So I'm going to be getting a 30 second segment of an NCS song and try to guess what artist it is because that artist has also been on Monster Cat in the past. I hope that makes sense. And as you would have maybe guessed, uh, well, I've got the lovely BL Craft here to host the game because uh, obviously I don't know a ton of NCS, but I think I know a decent amount of Monster Cat. And so uh, he's here to host the game and uh, run it all up. So uh, anything else to add to my uh, okay explanation there? Yeah, okay. So, uh, you know, most of these artists are ones that have appeared pretty numerous amount of times on Monster Cat, but uh, there are a few here that, you know, maybe only appeared like once or twice on label. So I'll tell you whenever that comes up and um, there are some remixes, so in those cases, I am looking for the remixer. This is also including some deleted releases. Like okay. Back in yeah, like 20, 2012 or 2013, maybe some of those older ones. And some, are, some of these artists have gone under multiple aliases. Any of those are acceptable. And finally, uh, because this is like a pretty hard game, uh, we do have hints in play here. So yes. we both had guesses the artist without any hints. That's two points. Miraculously. Um, <laughs> Otherwise, I will be giving the year where the artist debuted on Monster Cat and the year when the artist had the their latest release on Monster Cat. Yeah. So hopefully those will help them out. Yeah. So in a off chance where I actually get it right on the first guess, which would be kind of crazy, uh, I will get two points of 15 total songs. So a max of 30 points, I guess. And if I get it wrong, I will get the uh, release date and debut on Monster Cat. So um, without any further ado, I think we should hop into it and see how this goes. Uh, also, for a note, I do have the entire list of all the Monster Cat artists uh, here on my computer, so it makes it a little easier for me. Um, I have them all. I I it, I don't know how much it's going to help because there's what how many of there are on here? 400, 500, 640 some. Uh, so <laughs> I'm not sure how helpful it's going to be, but uh, here we go. This is track number one. Okay. Okay, so a little bit of an older track, I think, here is, would be my guess, and it is drum and bass. So there are a few from drum and bass that I would guess, um, and it's a little bit more of a dance floor style. It honestly, the the I'm not sure. This is interesting too because the vocalists are interesting because they could be their own vocals or not. My guess is this isn't, um, and this felt pretty dance floor. So my first guess would be Muzz or Muzzy. Okay, that's your first guess. Yeah, we have a next try here. Um, the debut year for this artist was 2014. Okay, and their latest release was in 2015. Oh. Okay, so I got, it wasn't Muzz, and their latest was 2015, and their debut was 2014. So I'm going to guess they don't have a ton of releases. So who would have been, is like, is has Buster been around this long on Monster Cat? Or I felt like they were around longer than this. I'm going to say Buster. That's my guess. Uh, it's not Buster. Ah, shoot. Uh, so you, you mentioned earlier that this, this might be like the, the producer and the vocalist might be the same here. Right? Yeah, is it? Uh, and it, yeah, you're right. Um, so you don't recognize those vocals, do you? I they sounded oddly familiar, but I couldn't quite land it, so I wasn't sure. Uh, it's from the Eden Project. Oh no way! Yeah. No way! I totally didn't even think about that. I I should know that song. Like I should know what's that song called? Uh, it's Lost. I've definitely heard that song before. That's so funny. Really? Yeah, hundred percent. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. I literally have this. Uh, that's funny. I should have known that. I should have known that because I totally wasn't even thinking Eden. I listen. So if you don't know, I listen to a ton of Eden, like a ton of Eden. I literally have 
one of his vinyls are right here. Like this is, this is two of his vinyls right here. Um, three of them actually, three of them, but shoot. Okay. Wow. That was a good one. That was a good one. Uh, let's hop into number three. Okay, a lot of up stuff. Okay, um, so it definitely sounds like a little bit of an older school melodic dubstep to me. And part of me wants to guess like AU5 all the time. Uh, just because I feel like at some point, I feel like you would have done maybe an NCS song. So I want to guess like a million times if it's AU5. But I, I don't, I don't want to guess it this time. But this is a one-off. Okay. Well, actually. One no, or two off? Two, I think. Okay. Yeah, two. Okay, so didn't do a ton. I'm gonna guess first off, uh, out of the uh, just random uh, seven lions. It is not seven lions. Okay, uh, this is a two off artist, and they were both in 2014. Both in 2014. Huh. Okay, I actually was thinking about guessing it was someone either before, but I didn't do it, and I was I was thinking Siren Seal, but I don't want to. Uh, who else is 2014 with all these few releases? I feel like it's got to be Sirens, but I... Uh, I'm going to say uh, Siren Seal. You're actually right. It is. Yes! <laughs> I got a single point. <laughs> nice. Honestly shocked. Honestly shocked. That was my yeah. first... When I was looking through the list, that was the first name that I was like, huh, maybe. But... Okay. Wow, yeah. I'm impressing okay. myself. Uh, what um, was that song released? Okay, this is Coming Home. It was released in 2013. Um, and here's the thing. This is, NCS didn't used to be like a lab, like a release label. It was just a promotion channel. And, mm. um, some of the 2013 songs, like this one, were converted into releases. And as of right now, this is the oldest NCS release. It is the oldest like video on their channel. Oh, interesting. Um, yeah, it turns 10 years old pretty soon, actually. Wow. Okay. I did not know that. That's a fun little tidbit. Great. Okay. Let's hop into track number three. Let's go. Oh, this is very Ramesses B like, but is it? It's so much. Oh man. Uh, where's the rest of the song? Okay, I think that's got to be Ramesses B. I just got to go for the guess right away. That sounds so much like him. Yeah, you're exactly right. Okay, good, good. <laughs> if I, <clears throat> if I would have got that wrong, that would have been that sounded. It is fascinating how like even this game as a whole is going to be very fascinating to just uh, to feel through because there's so many. Like, do artists have their own style? Do they really have their own sound, their own atmosphere? Do they have their own tone uh, versus like not like so someone that does a little more of a bit of everything? And so people that cross over genre more are going to be a lot harder, but people that stay in their own genre, like okay, you know, Ramesses Speed does for the most part, will be a little bit easier. But okay, fascinating. Which, uh, what is this? Uh, this is Beside You, also featuring Sonder, uh, okay. just like his release earlier this year. I mean, last year. Okay. I'm proud of myself for getting that one. Proud of myself for getting that one. Okay. Uh, let's hop into uh, song number four. I'm three for six. Look at that. Okay. Oh, we're going old school with this. Okay, this one is tougher. Uh, this one felt like kind of everything was old school dubstep days, like early Monster Cat days. This kind of just felt like 
everything was this kind of sound. Who's old school? I'm going to say, uh, wow, let's even go throw this way, way back. Uh, is this Arion? It's my first guess. It is. It is not Arion. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I was like, okay. Um, yeah, this is, okay. So we're a bit off on the time range. Um, okay. What are the, what are the release dates for these? Okay. Yeah, debut is 2020 and most recent is 2021. Oh, wow. Yeah. No, I thought these were a little bit of an older <laughs> track. <laughs> Ooh, it is yikes. an old school style, of course. Yes. Um, wow. Okay. That is not what I expected. No, I'm going to go with Jaws. Why not? We'll give it what? Jaws. Are you sure about that time range? I'm pretty sure they did not debut in 2020. Oh, I don't know about, I don't know the debut. So, oh yeah, they would have debuted way earlier. Okay. Well, that was, that was my yeah. bad guess. So uh, I got it wrong. What, what is it? Uh, this is, uh, this is from more plastic. Oh, Yes. Okay, no, that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah, I don't. So in front of me, I don't actually have the debut release. Um, I, yeah. I have the the most recent one. So yeah. don't make it too the, easy on me. Like yeah, they had the pegboard nerds collab in like 2015, I think. Yeah, but yeah, um, yeah. Shoot. Okay. Well, let's head into track number five. Okay, something about, so my first initial guess was going to be Sabai, but then uh, it did that, the, I don't even know what this, the, the MIDI keyboard sound, like the classic, the pitch sound. And so my, my now actual guess is going to be Oblivion. And that's my, that's my first guess. Yeah, it's Oblivion. Yes! Perfectly on that. Yes! Look at that! Wow. Actually shocked. I am, get, I have points at this point. Um, yeah, that, that's very fascinating that just one small little section, it wasn't even a very prominent section, it was just like the, like, I don't even know what you even call that. Mm -hmm. Um, and I was instantly like, no, I think that's, I'm pretty sure that's Oblivion. That is fascinating. Wow. So when, when was this released from? Oh, this was from 2022. Okay. Yeah. Newer. Yeah, it did, it did sound like a little newer. Okay. Woo. Cruising along, I, th I believe I'm five for 10, which is way more than I yeah. expected to be right now. Uh, okay, let's go into track number six. Okay, I have a guess already, I think. Okay, a little more trap focus. Okay, there's, uh, I would say there's a few artists that have this kind of sounds, a similar sound, but uh, my first initial reaction, gut reaction said, uh, and this is going to be my guess, that this was Slumberjack. It was not Slumberjack. Okay. Uh, okay. So these guys debuted in 2016, and their most recent release was in 2023. Ooh, 2023, and they've been around since 2016. My other guess was potentially Coven. And they did do a 2023 track. I don't know their original release date because I don't have that here. Um, there wouldn't have been a few. There wouldn't have been many tracks in uh, 20s uh, in 2023 so far. So um, I might just straight up say Coven. That's gonna be my guess. Coven. Mm -hmm. It is Coven. Yes. You can actually, this track was massive when it released. This is. I still think it's one of their best. To be honest. Which one is this one? Uh, it's never have I felt this. Um, I feel like I've definitely right heard this before. It's hard sometimes to catch on the vocalists. I don't know if they're red herring sometimes because they are the same vocalists like the Eden was. And, uh, I guess this one is too. But I, yeah, part of me is like, I don't know if it's going to be, if it's going to be tricky. So I try not to focus on vocals and try to focus on beat. But um, yeah, that was, I like that song a lot. I should go back and revisit that once more. Okay, I've got six points. Uh, let's head into track number seven. Uh, more vocals. Hmm. 
Okay, fascinating track. It's got that kind of old school vibe to it while still having like, it's got a little bit of a, I don't even know what that, like those keys melody line just makes it feel like there's a few artists that do that. And my first, again, initial reaction was this was Tut Tut Child. And that's my guess. Uh, it is not Tut Tut Child. Okay. Uh, they, okay, this artist debuted in 2017 and their last release was in 2018. Okay, so they're a little newer. Or sorry, like I wouldn't say newer. I guess that's <laughs> all the years I'm looking at in, in comparison, I guess that is uh, newer than, I guess, whatever Tut Tut I guess would be. What was Tut Tut? Oh, last was 2017. I'm going to say Bear Grylls. Bear Grylls. It's not Bear Grylls. Um, ah, shoot. Okay. So this artist, like I said before, uh, any alias works. And this artist went under a different alias on NCS than Monster Cat. Oh. Uh, so I'm wondering, have you heard of Def Quop? I have not heard of Def Quop. Well, that is the that's a different alias for what was originally Intercom. Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah, that was that's a tricky one because mm -hmm. that does not sound like Intercom, obviously, because it's a different alias. But okay, I like that. That is a fun little tricky one. So what? Uh, and what? When was this song from? This was from 2016. He actually released up with this alias even in 2018. So we kind of switched between the two. Interesting. Like, okay, I did not know that. That's fun to know. Okay, let's hop on to the next one. This is uh, track number eight. Okay, more mellow dub. Oh, there's, I feel like there's so many artists that could do this style. Like, uh, I, oh man. I could help you out a bit. This is a one-off release. Oh, okay. That is helpful. That is very helpful. Okay. One-off release. That does, that does ease my mind a little bit. Oh, on cold skin. I'm going to say it's Echoes is my first guess. Not Echoes. Uh, okay. So this release was from, I mean, his Moscow release was from 2022. 2022. 2022 one-off. Ooh, this is interesting. I'm going to say it's Affinity then. Uh, this one's from Roy Knox. Oh, Roy Knox. There's so many artists that do this style. <laughs> uh, that's a good one though. That's, that's, that's tough. Nice. Okay. Roy Knox. I guess the, yeah. Okay. Uh, and what, what, when was this song released? Uh, this one's from 2021, but he's, He's had quite a big discography on NCS over the last okay. few years. I didn't know that. That's fun. Okay, let's hop into track number nine. I believe I'm, I still have six points. I haven't done great the last ones. So here we go. Number nine. It feels right. It feels right. Yeah. You know say that it feels right. I know the song. You do. I totally know the song. Oh, this is gonna kill me. Yo, I used to listen to the song a decent amount, <laughs> and this is gonna kill me that I'm not gonna know this. Oh no, uh, I have a this. This feels wrong, but I I don't know. I'm gonna say this is unlike Pluto. It's not. Uh, okay. This artist debuted in 2017, and the latest release was in 2020. Oh, shoot. I don't know even what to guess here. Oh, it's not uh, Roman Silver. Why not? Or, yeah, Roman Silver. This one's from Mern. Oh, I was going to guess Mern. I That was another <laughs> guess of mine. That was one I saw. I was like, oh, maybe. I should have guessed Mern. Ah, oh, shoot. What, what's your song is this? What's yours? Uh, what's the name of this song, too? This is from JPB and Mern. Uh, it's Feels Right, featuring Young Fusion. I know this song. I <laughs> yeah, totally know this song. One. Yeah. Shoot. Oh. I should... I should. That was a bad guess. For Roman Silver was a bad guess. <laughs> that was a bad guess. But Okay, let's hop into track number 10. Track 
drum step, okay. Okay, yikes. Uh, so that one at least sounds like drum step to me. Uh, there's a lot of artists that I feel like could have done that. I'm going to randomly, I don't know why, my, I'm going to go with another just random guess, obviously, off the bat. Uh, is this Fractal? It is not. Uh, okay. But this artist debuted in 2014, and their last release was in 2021. 2014, 2021. Okay, so they're a bigger artist. Oh, is this, is this AU5? Because A5, no, they had, no, 2023, that was the other side. 2021, 2014. Not last, though. I'm going to say Protostar. Protostar is my guess. Uh, it's not Protostar. It was actually Ash. one of those people you listed out there. Oh, no. Who was uh, it? It was Laszlo. It was Laszlo. Okay. Yeah. Shoot. Okay. Ah, another one that I, okay, when was, when was this released from? That, that one was from 2014. Uh, it's okay. one step away. Okay. Yeah, I don't know that one too too well, but here we go. Track number 11. Yo. Yo, I love this. Yo, I, that song was freaking fire! I love that! Holy! Really? I'm adding that right after. I'm just, okay. I mean, it's called Hopeless Illusion. Um, so, what artists do I really love? Um, there was a small little beat section or in the bass line that made me think it's an artist, but I feel like the rest of it doesn't sound like it, so I'm just going to throw it out there and see if it works. Is this just a gent? Uh, it is not. Okay. Uh, okay. So this, this artist debuted in 2020, and the last week was in 2022. 2022 and 2020. So they wouldn't have a ton of releases. Uh, this doesn't sound like any of the artists I'm seeing here. This is such a weird... This is fascinating. Is it Smile? That's my guess. It's not. This is uh, Bose. Oh! Oh, Bose. Okay. I like that song a lot. All right. Uh, it's Illusion, yeah. Featuring Crunk, yeah. I think. Huh, I really like that song. That was a bop. Okay, I'm gonna go add that after. <laughs> that was great. Okay, let's uh, let's head into track number 12. Okay, that's an interesting one. That is one that I am very lost on. This could be a whole bunch of different artists, I feel like, or just some random thing that they did in the past. This one feels tough to me. Oh, dang. Yeah, like I don't even have a, a semblance of a of any kind of guess. I'm going to throw another. Obviously, these ones are all random guesses. Is this a fixa? It is not. Okay. Uh, this artist debuted in... 2015 and their last release was in 2019 15 to 2019 i'm gonna say it's seven minutes dead uh, it's not uh shoot this one is from xylent this is xylent yes it is whoa wow okay that surprises me and what when's this song from uh this was from 2016 okay yeah huh fascinating remix, i guess Fascinating. Okay, let's uh, let's hop into track number 13. I believe I still only have six points. I was doing well to start and have fallen off substantially since then. So here we go, track number 13. Time for a rematch. Okay, so there's, a, there's an obvious answer here, but is that a red herring? Yeah. 
Okay, so obviously, I my heart says Nitro Fun, not even a second doubt. Then my heart goes, you know, I think Tokyo a little bit, but I if I remember, I I don't think Tokyo is an NCS release. Um, I could be wrong on that, but um, I'm I just got to go Nitro Fun. I have to. That's my guess. It's not Nitro Fun. It does sound a lot like the Nitro Fun, but it's not. Okay. It's this one. Okay, this artist debuted in 2020. 2020. And their latest release was this year, 2023. 2023 and 2020. That is a fascinating one. 2023. That's my final guess. I'm going to say, I can't remember if it goes back far enough. I think this might be Wales, though. That's my final guess. It's not Wales. This is from Chime. Oh, it's Chime. Yeah. I totally mind blanked on Chime. Yeah, I thought about like it a... earlier too. Like in earlier in the guessing game, I was like, oh, I wonder if Chime's gonna be on here. I don't know if he's had any other like Electric House releases, but yeah. I meant to I meant sure to choose this drop because you know it does have like 100%. more dubstep section. Yeah. 100 percent Okay. Mm -hmm. Fun. Okay, I got two more left to go. Let's see if I can get some more points. Maybe I can get 10. Uh, which would be inc insane to get the two, but here we go. Here's track number 14. Oh, again? Hey, buddy. Okay. Oh man, all these sound like kind of just really like old school EDM all seems to sound so similar. Uh, but my guess is going to say faint. Uh, it's not faint. Okay. Uh, okay. This might help you a lot. Uh, their debut was in 2011. Oh! And their latest release was in 2020. See, this could have been faint. So they're an old school... 2020, 2011. Um, oh, the problem is now I can't quite remember who, how early some of these releases were. 20 did must have a, it could be eminence too. I'm going to, I'm going to, I think Muzz was early enough. I'm going to say Muzz. Muzz is my answer. It's interesting. This wasn't a D D &D track. So yeah. It, yeah. But trance isn't really a common genre. Muscat. Uh, this is from a fixa. Oh, this is a fixer. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All yeah. I, Jim I, yeah. Ah, shoot. That's Jim, that's Jim Yosef? Wait, sorry. What did yeah. you say? The fixer and Jim Yosef. Oh, it is. It's oh, wow. Club. That's a big track, I guess. Uh, it's not really. But... Uh, oh. <laughs> yeah. It's shoot. Quite, okay. quite like, though. Okay. I didn't get that one. Okay. Let's see if we can get the final one here. This is track number 15. Here we go. Another odd one. Man, some of these songs like these, they could be so many artists, I feel. Uh, and just because it's on the top of my mind, but I'm sure I'm wrong, uh, this, I don't know, feels whales like to me. So I'm going to say whales. It's not whales. Uh okay. But the stars debuted in 2021, and the last release was in 2022. Okay, another two-year time span. Oh, no. Is this a uh, Hoaprox? That's my guess. Uh, it's not. Oh, this shoot. is from Papa Khan. Oh, Papa Khan. Yes. I always associate Papa Khan and Wales together in a similar sound. I don't know why. That's probably wrong, or but that's I just associate the two sounds together. Okay, that does make sense, but... Um, that is it, I guess. I've scored a total six of 30 points. I was doing so well to start, and then it yeah. fell off a cliff. But, yeah. So I'm excited. Uh, I the, 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 It's fun. Very fun, I should say. It's very fascinating to see in the end how your mind... Like, some artists have a very clear, distinct sound and style, and others um, just, you know, don't as much, or I guess I don't listen to them as much, I should say. 
But uh, yeah, fascinating one. Uh, and we'll have another episode at some point. But um for now, thank you for being here, BLCraft, and hosting again for the third time. Uh, these are so fun, and we couldn't do them without you. So thank you, thank you, thank you. But uh, other than that, I've been Bowtie Media, and I will see you guys in another video.